This exhibition the title is Transformation, and uh, uh, you just, uh, um, how do you think about uh, this uh, subject theme? Also, what uh, transformation related to your, your work in the exhibition? Uh, well, I'm very happy to be in the, this fantastic story organized by you. And uh, it's a historical that uh, been a part of uh, this show. Uh, transform transformation for me, it's, uh, it comes in many layers. I can see a, I can, uh, the trans how the transformation has happened. But when I go to the spiritual level, I can see the transformation, which is uh, uh, always been arbitrary. The you know, self always remains uh, uh, like the same. But always uh, arbitrary changes in the transformation happen. And uh, I think the transformation of, uh, I'm seriously believe, for the external force, uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, bound to make it transform into to, uh, to something else. Or sometimes, like, uh, a, a mostly, like, maybe you can see in terms of transformations, it's a temporary, which is, uh, 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 you can see that uh, in terms of survival. Uh, I can also relate it to how the lizard transform itself or the butterfly transform itself to something else or the octopus transform itself by or mimic to the time or the circumstance with uh, uh, with the with the uh, 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 with the environment you know and uh, that is a very important to to transformation in the in time in the right direction that's going to lead you the better uh, you know Safe of your life, you know, to better uh, understanding of life, or you can to be in, in, you know, in a better position, you know, society or something. Mm -hmm. But uh, that the transformation always happens in nature of the human being and the mind. Uh, that's really phenomenon. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, if you are uh, talking about a little bit more kind of actual works, because then uh, you this time is uh, you just pick up the, the uh, two paintings, the title the epic, okay. and uh, also the animals, also God is an uh, and related to an uh, kind of cityscape under construction something. So, but uh, I think it's a I, I think your 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 uh, is title is perfectly fit with the transformation happening in India, but the transition of the transformation is uh, so rapid. So I think it's uh, uh, the works uh, what uh, I presented here is. Uh, uh, the the two uh, you know the uh, uh, which is one fantasy or the real circumstance uh, which I'm encountering with everyday life. So if you uh, look at in terms of uh, bringing the mythology or the ideas of the way I grew up, uh, learning about uh, the, uh, the the myth or the you know to uh, to understanding the mythology to by you know defining the good or bad or evil. So the the same. Uh, if you look at a particular painting of Ravana and this uh, fighting with the bird, and uh, it, it also it is so much uh, related with the the new the new transformation of the city, the way we've been building, and uh, uh, how every day we dealing with the same kind of uh, uh, situation, how this everyday encountering with uh, the life, you know, uh, to to survive within the kind of uh, 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 a space because every you know always my interest me that how the people have been migrating to city with their own utopias. Mm -hmm. Everybody have their own utopias to build their city or they build a, uh, the uh, uh, you know the dream place to be survived to be have a better life. Mm -hmm. But you know how that different utopias uh, you know having kind of uh, uh, having tension between each other. You know where we you know. I also been the uh, sometimes it's question us and how whether we save the world or the world save us. So that's a kind of uh, always uh, uh, concern me to my work. And uh, uh, if you look at the goat work, goat also been uh, you know it looks very ambiguity through the mm -hmm. whether it has been connected to skin of the man. Either it looks like maybe uh, he turned uh, he. You know, he became a man, and uh, and then he turned into the goat, and uh, uh, he's he's changing his life. But mm -hmm. but you know, always animal. If you look at the animal, is more like a, 
more uh, humanization. They are, their face are more like human. They're standing next to you and they just, uh, you know, sharing the equal space, you know. And uh, that uh, that interests me. That interests me by the, the, the presenting them in in a big. Also, uh, the way we've been grow up by listening all this Panchatantra story and always. Uh, it's interest. It interesting to talk about this multi-story because because they they are like actor. You know, they they are like a really actor uh, in my work, and uh, it is always flexible to talk about any in, any narration or any fact through them. Uh, uh, the way we've been uh, uh, teach to our you know uh, to our children about uh, different story with the crocodile or the monkey or anything. Uh, and they became human, you know, they talk each other and they, they bring out some kind of moral points. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, really interests me through my work. And then uh, it, it's always uh, 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 interesting to create a kind of uh, uh, painting which is constrained approach once you, uh, uh, you one is a meditative but also every day encountering life and uh, it, you know you keep narrating on your uh, mm -hmm. imaginary space or uh, to the exp express all this uh, you know how it's going through mm -hmm. you it's uh, it's good yeah i'm very curious to know about a uh, more kind of philosophical also kind of the religious background like a more almost a belief and uh, um, because then uh, also you know some kind of what is the Buddhism, also Hinduism, and it's a completely different kind of Western and uh, kind of you know uh, philosophy. So and uh, uh, when you are talking about the kind of animals and the human being relationships and uh, you know and uh, is there any kind of uh, kind of strong kind of reflection in your own culture also some religious belief? Uh, yes, because you know animal always been a. Uh, been a, you know we uh, uh, if you the in, th in terms of mythology uh, animal always play important role you know if you talk about goddesses you know there's a spirit of lions uh, uh, play a very important role you know uh, and so each animal have their own spirit and uh, that's lead and uh, you know I I think uh, uh, that interests me you know they how they live or how they th thought how they look you know some b birds they look more than us you know and uh, the how the fly have extra power than us you know that interests me how that could be you know uh, uh, which is not visible which is a you know uh, we never talk about it so it's really really um, uh, interest that kind of phenomena mm -hmm. and also what's interests me because you spend some time in in japan also mm -hmm. japan is a lot of kind of uh, belief in animism and also like uh, you know belief and uh, you know and the relations and uh, uh, mutual relations with human beings and animals. So and uh, did you and uh, um, get uh, some kind of ideas and from Japan? Uh, well, in my Japan stay was uh, really uh, uh, I could say that my turning point in my artistic life because uh, uh, by coming here, I the several practice I did, uh, which is uh, uh, which is uh, related to some kind of uh, the the Shinto belief, which I also mm -hmm. believe that uh, the, the the extreme Hinduism, mm -hmm. uh, uh, which is we call the Sanatana, extremely they are similar, you mm -hmm. know. And uh, 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 when I came and started about a little bit reading about it, mm -hmm. then experiment that ideas into the matter, you know. Oh, uh, like you know when Shinto people believe that the every spirit, you know, every object has the spirit, you know, they have a life. So we can, you know, that uh, aspect uh, really helps me to understand. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, if if I see that uh, uh, in Japan experience was uh, like a door to the uh, completely, uh, you know, t towards the Japan culture or as well as the world culture, you know, mm -hmm. especially to the European uh, art, you know, for me it was uh, like an open door for me to uh, look through the, uh, through the, uh, you know, this gate, mm -hmm. you know, through the window. So. Oh, that that uh, that way, it's uh, always interest me to the go back to the very much uh, fact like which is a uh, very much minimal itself, and uh, which is exactly you know to aspect of editing myself to aspect of okay uh, what uh, what I want you know what I don't want uh, how you know how are you going to edit you know how are you going to be uh, simplify yourself uh, mm -hmm. with the whole complex world mm -hmm. so. That was really uh, always remain in my mind.
Yes. Because I play with the fire, because I did a lot of installation, mm -hmm. installation, you know, in, in the Mount Asho, which is, uh, there was a, a symposium happened, there was an artist workshop. So I just mimic the ma Mount Asho through my work by going to different mountains and uh, uh, carrying the different colors of clay. Mm -hmm. And uh, the clay and the fire, uh, I play with a very interestingly, which is I was a, one of the best work of mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, great. So, and uh, uh, I just uh, move into the next question. And uh, uh, if you have a second life and uh, the, the, the life after, so what would you like? What what you, you would you like to be? Oh uh, well, you know, it's human Any mind animals? always uh, <laughs> always change, always yes. change, and we we. We grow up to a one one uh, level to other level to be complete level. So it's uh, uh, it's always better to be have a nirvana. Mm -hmm. Always have to better to be. But if we if my desire is on you know still exist before I death, maybe definitely that define me what life I want to uh, lead to. Mm -hmm. Whether human or the animal mm -hmm. or something, mm -hmm. but uh, you know it's always interesting. If I uh, always uh, always better to have uh, some kind of life which is uh, you know soft to their own species, soft to their own uh, um, uh, own community or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, then that will be more successful itself. Mm -hmm. So the last question is and. Uh, um, under this and uh, climate, also India and has been changing a lot. Also, Japan forced to uh, change because uh, we are very long history of the country. But uh, many kind of um, political, also kind of economical climate has been changing. So under this climate, is uh, uh, also when you just see this exhibition here in Tokyo. So uh, is there any message and uh, from you to the audience? Uh, well, you know, I could say that the message. Uh, uh, hold this ideas of transformation of the world, and this is really significant. One of the uh, one of uh, a very important exhibition, uh, which I can say that what's uh, happening around the world. So the transformations of the relationship, which is uh, uh, between the culture to culture, which I believe the cultures are not been like stagnant, or mm -hmm. because the way w every doors are open, we been um, uh, you know all the water flows from each area, you know every uh, uh, through the every terrain so uh, the the transformation has a real significant in this particular sense so uh, i think this ideas of uh, understanding it what we can uh, uh, what exactly we common utopia we going to use for our world you know to better life mm -hmm. or better relationship so that's a really uh, uh, it's a message i get from it and i, I think that's going to uh, message for the world. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.